Welcome to Lightning Safety if you're out and about in the countryside. If, you're, if there's lightning, thunder and lightning and you're in a big city, the best thing to do is to try and get to, into a building as quickly as possible. And if you're out and about in the countryside and you can get to your car, the best thing is to get to your car or bus or van and sit inside without touching the, the metal sides because if lightning does strike, it then goes out through the metal frame and into the ground. But if you're out and about in the countryside, different rules apply. Now, the first thing that people often do with thunder and lightning, and a lot of people know this already, is try and get under a tree because they're afraid of the water. But you don't want to do that because what happens if lightning strikes a tree, and it is more likely to strike it because of the, the, the height and the, the attraction of positive and negative uh, electrons and things like that, when it does strike, what's going to happen is that it will immediately vaporise the sap and it explodes outwards, and that's pretty, pretty nasty. Okay, the second thing you don't want to be doing is putting your brolly up and, and protecting yourself under this uh, from the rain. Nice protecting you from the rain, but in a thunderstorm um, you, you will get, or you're more likely to get hit, and uh, certainly you could get electrocuted, so you don't want to be doing that. Okay, so what do you do if you're completely stuck out and about? Obviously we've talked about what not to do, so what can you do? The first thing is to try and count the distance between the flash and the bang. Many people think the distance between the flash and the bang is one second, one mile. Wrong. What you're supposed to do is every five seconds is one mile. So, for the, to be a safe distance away, you need to be about six miles away. Doing a little bit of simple arithmetic, that's 30 seconds. If you count 30 seconds, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, etc., up to 30, and that's that distance between the flash and the bang, you are pretty much a safe distance away. Okay, so we've worked out what a safe distance is. Now let's say that it's not within that safe distance and we're getting uh, flashes of lightning and then thunder's very, very close by. We need to try and protect ourselves. Many people think that obviously being in an open area that is safe, well, that's actually a good thing. What we can do, what I was taught to do, is lay down like this. Okay. That is not the right thing to do. And the reason that's not the right thing to do most of yourself, including almost your head, on the floor. If lightning hits the floor, okay, rather than you, but if lightning hits the floor, what will happen is that it will go into your internal organs, your brain, your heart. So what you're supposed to do is something called the lightning crouch. Now, if you're in a big group of people, or there's lots of you, like on a field trip, or like you've got lots of children with you, you should also be a safe distance apart. And that's, I think, around about three metres apart. You need to be about three metres apart from each person. So that's a good ten foot at least apart from the next person, which you can do in this situation. But let me show you something called the lightning crash. I'm just going to go over to here so you can see. And what I need you to do is that if you just look at my feet, the first thing you do is I'm putting my ankles together like that. And then simply I'm crouching myself down. I'm now on the balls of my feet, but my ankles are touching. And the idea behind this is that lightning strikes the ground, it goes into one foot, clicks through my ankle and out the other foot. It might be painful, but it, what it's not going to do is go through my internal organs. and stop my heart, hit, hit my brain and all those things that can be so damaging with a lightning storm.